Hi everyone, Gerdy here. Sitting in a spot with a gorgeous view. I'll just show you. Not bad, isn't it? Anyways. You don't want to be nice. That's what I want to talk about. And now you're thinking, what? Why don't I want to be nice? Recently, I was, um, I came across a video where somebody was talking about going through a grieving process and how people have a hard time finding the right thing to say. And in their search for the right thing to say, they can sometimes say the wrong thing. And what that person was talking about is that they then respond, tend to respond in a nice manner. And she explained the roots of the word nice. N nice comes from the Latin Nasius, Nasius. I, I don't do Latin, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But nice in its original term, when it ca first came into the English language, meant, I've got a note here, uh, timid, ignorant, foolish, senseless. So that's a, a very different meaning from what the word from how we w use that word today. It was also used in the sense of pretending to not know what you know so as not to upset the social order. And that one stuck in my mind, let me repeat that. Pretending to not know what you know so as not to upset the social order. Now what does that have to anything to do with what it is that I do? Helping women, people who are unhappy in their career, maybe even in the life that they've chosen or that they're living and the, who are taking stock of life and figuring out, trying to figure out how they want to live their life differently. I find that when you're in that space of trying to figure out what it is you want, if you're successful but you're unhappy, that you're being nice to yourself in that old sense of the word in that sense of to pretending to not know what you know so as not to upset the social order why do I say that? because you have that inner dialogue going on there's one part of you that says something's not right, I need to change things and goes along that track of that that mindset, that track, that, that way of thinking, looking for what needs to change, looking for maybe if knowing what needs to change. And then there's that other part in your head, in your mind going, but you're going to upset the social, you're going to upset the social order, you're going to disturb the equilibrium, the balance in your family, in your business, uh, among your friends, you're going, you, your ego is telling you, that's not accepted, it's not accepted in the society you live in, that people will think it's weird, you're going to be judged. And that 
part of you, that ego is going along that other track. That's all negativity. That's telling you all those bad things that may or may not, but in your ego's mindset, is going to be happening. So that first part of you is just being nice. It knows what it wants to do. It knows what it needs to do. But it doesn't want to upset the social order. And I think it's time to upset that social order. It is time to stop being nice and to act upon that which it, on that what it is that you know and stop pretending that you don't know what you know that was a lot of no's but there you are and that is why you have to stop being nice and that by the way does not mean that you have to be have to start being disrespectful. That's not what I mean. So, and perhaps even now that I've mentioned the word respectful, how about this? To stop pretending that you don't know what you know may actually be the most respectful thing that you could do for yourself and by extension for other people. How about that one? I'll leave you with that. As always, go there greatly.